factors of the Sun, reached the planet Venus, which, in further development there, led to primeval world-like elemental storms. Explaining this in every detail, however, would be too much. This was on the one hand, and the magnetic storms of the Sun, with great certainty, must have been triggered by the aforementioned extension of the dark nebula arm. Certain elements of the extension, at any rate, indicate this. For reasons still unknown to us, an approximately 100 million kilometer long magnetic suction formed from the resulting magnetic storms, which, interestingly enough, hit the planet Venus exactly and held firm to it for several months and traveled with it. The dust of Venus was then pulled up into this magnetic suction, along with all that planetary matter that likewise turned into dust because of the primeval world-like storms and their frictional effects. Billy says ah, now I understand things better, but tell me, how long will these storms keep on going and what's probably going to happen with the dark nebula arm? And have our scientists not noticed these processes? Surely they should have seen the drifting off of the dust. Semiaza says you don't seem to have listened to me properly, because I just explained that the storms lasted for several months. To be precise, they raged on for nine months. Since then, peace prevails on the planet again in this respect. The dark nebula arm, which, by the way, was to be calculated in its length to the parent nebula in several hundred billion kilometers, slowly dissolved and disappeared. As to your other questions, it is to be explained that the scientists of the Earth could not track or detect these processes because their technological devices are insufficiently developed. They are simply inadequate. They weren't even able to detect the drifting off the planetary matter because there also aren't any suitable apparatuses or instruments, etc. available for that. The extension arm of the Dark Nebula, which ran to the outer edge zones of the Sun, was less than 1,600 kilometers in diameter when it hit Venus, while it still had about 199 kilometers to the Sun. Explanation The reverse principle of the tornado, like a whirlpool effect. The measurements, therefore, also cannot be determined from the Earth with the devices that are still unsuitable for such purposes. Billy says that's understandable, because the terrestrial technology, indeed, isn't even sufficient yet to allow the scientists to study the sun more closely, and it has a quite different size than this dark nebula arm. I read recently in an article in Geo that the poor Earth scientists once again have to revise their current acceptances of the sun because during a solar eclipse, they discovered that their previous acceptances were just nothing more than delusions of the brain. They have finally encountered the fact that the so-called glowing envelope of the sun pulsates, but they are already so megalomaniacal again to claim that it is the sun itself that pulsates so. According to the Geo report, this pulsation should amount to 3,30 kilometers, which cannot be right, however because you yourself explained to me once that on the one hand, only just the fiery mantle or even the outer mantle layers, so to speak the stratospheres and ionospheres, etc., if I may so call them, would pulsate and that the half pulsation width is to be calculated, according to our measures at 7,30 kilometers, so thus the entire pulsation width is 14,30 kilometers. The twits still maintain, however, that the sun is a true furnace all the way down to its core, where continuous nuclear fusions would take place. They still haven't encountered or come to the thought that the fireball of the sun could be just a purely external fact, while underneath a huge nuclear star of a special kind is hidden, a nuclear furnace, so to speak, which, through tremendous processes in its interior, hurls up its immense radiations and vibrations high above itself, and they become glowing and blazing seas of fire that shoot out like gigantic tongues of fire into outer space as prominences. One must really leave one thing to the twits, though, because now they seem to have finally found out that the solar internal processes must be completely different than they accepted until now, perhaps now they will also slowly come to the fact that the sun is not a wavering and glowing mass but rather a firm star. 
and once they have found that out, then they will probably also encounter the fact that our sun, since its actual origin, is also many billions of years older than has been accepted up to now, just as they now also have to constantly revise the age of the universe. But they still haven't come so far and, therefore, still maintain all kinds of nonsense. But the time will, indeed, come for they have also already found out now that the sun has become smaller by a fairly large piece in the last 500 years, which traces back to the fact, according to your own words, that the fiery mantle collapses more and more into itself due to less energy from the planetary interior. It is. Semyaza says you shouldn't talk about that anymore, because what has already been said is already dangerously much. But I must admit, you have a phenomenal memory for certain matters. After all, I explained these things to you during your great journey. Billy says oh, one just notes some things. Semyaza says well, let's leave this subject now. I would like to tell you that in the meantime, I've read your fairy tales several times. They are simply wonderful. They are so entirely unlike all other fairy tales that I know and moreover, they are extremely instructive. Therefore, I've allowed myself to give them to Father, with the request that he makes them accessible to our peoples. Billy says now you really crazy. Samyaza says I did tell you that I would do it if I thought that it would be worth it. Billy says then so be it. But now, how does it stand with the things concerning those of whom you wanted to go to the USA? I've had my experiences relating to this in the meantime, and it doesn't look good. Semyaza says you right, because we have also thoroughly dealt with everything again in this respect and found that we cannot place these decisions as conditions. This would be an intrusion into the personal matters, which is why we must refrain from it, so we are cancelling this demand and condition. We have our heavy burden with the human beings of Earth because we still cannot understand them properly and cannot analyze them precisely. For this reason, we have decided to place no more demands or conditions at all in the future. Despite our greatest efforts, we must now recognize ourselves that again and again, we make wrong analyses in reference to the evaluation of the human being of Earth or his concerns. This is simply because the human being of this world very often harbors and maintains something else in his mind than what is truly in his subconscious or in his will. The human being of earth is extremely bewildering and inconsistent in these matters, which is why we will hold ourselves back from these things in the future. Billy says ah, you've gained rather good insight there, although I must say that in spite of everything, you were right in very many things. Semyaza says sure, but this correctness was always just there where, in reference to an evaluation of a human being of earth, all facts let themselves be brought to a common denominator. Billy says those evaluations and predictions therefrom were, however, damn good, correct, and 100%. So they weren't all wrong evaluations. Semyaza says the wrong ones, however, were enough to keep ourselves from it. Billy says it is, despite the good and ones, perhaps better that way. Semyaza says so it will be. Billy says well, I would still like to ask you how it actually stands with what I already asked you before about the filming. I prepared everything for the beginning of June, but when I read about it in the reports the day before yesterday, there I saw that you said you would first discuss it further at the end of June. Semyaza says you would probably like to do this work sooner. Billy says certainly. Semyaza says it would be very beneficial to your health. Billy says exactly, I also thought that. Semyaza says 183. I will see what I can do. Billy says you think. Semyaza says no but I think that you could at least get out every now and then for two or three days. But you know that you will often be on the move, without your being able to take even just one picture. For these, for suitable pictures we must always first find a suitable place. At the same time, it will be the same as before, that you will very often be ordered somewhere by me, 
and when you get there, you have to go back empty-handed because human beings of Earth have gone to this place in the meantime. Billy says I understand already, but I've already counted on that. So that is certainly no problem. But what about the fact that maybe I can bring along group members? Semiaza says we still aren't clear to ourselves about that but I'll clarify it now and orient you about it at our next meeting. Billy says you still know my proposal? Semiaza says I haven't forgotten it. It was really an idea that is worth thinking about. Billy says good, then I await your decision. Semiaza says I will try to inform you of the decision soon. Billy says I'm glad about that. You know, I actually already have everything together in so far that I can get started. I've bought myself a small tractor and let a suitable trailer be made for it, in which I can also spend the night. So I don't always have to turn back and go home at night. Semiaza says is your tractor this small vehicle which you have brought along? Billy says you probably mean with which I came here. Yes, that is it. A 700cc Kubota tractor. A Japanese product. Semiaza says you have the opportunity for a bed in it, then? Billy says you are a bit illogical, my golden child. My bed will, of course, be in the trailer. I really have no place for it in the tractor. Here on Earth, the technology is not yet advanced as far as with you, that one has it so modern as is the case in your ship. Semiaza says I understand. It was a bit clumsy of me. Billy says that's not so bad. You know, I can lie a foam mattress down in the trailer and then sleep on it in a sleeping bag. So I have it pretty warm and cozy. So I'd then be on the way on a tramp voyage, so to speak as I have done previously. Only, then I was without my own vehicle and, therefore, slept in strange vehicles or even in forests, meadows, in roadside ditches, cemeteries, on low roofs or under bridges, etc. Semiaza says you once told me that I remember. It was a rather adventurous life. Something that we ourselves don't know at all in such forms. Billy says you indeed must not live in the 20th century or with our Earth standard. Semiaza says sure. Billy says do you already know when you will have your new ship, and can I then film it as well? Semiaza says it is not yet certain, but it could be that I will already have it when I call you for the big film and photo work. Of course, you can then also take your pictures of it. Billy says that is dear of you, but tell me I have got myself a video camera, do you have an idea of what that is? Semiaza says but of course. Isn't such a thing very expensive? Billy says sure, but it's the best thing I can have in general for these purposes. My question now is whether the video tapes, the cassettes, will be impaired or damaged if I come into the proximity of the ship with them. Semiaza says that is unfortunately so, which is why you must be extremely careful. Our ships have different magnetic vibrations, which would destroy your cassettes. Billy says well, then I'll be careful. Then I would have asked all questions for the time being. Semiaza says then I would now like to briefly explain some important things to you, if you're not too tired. It won't take up a lot of time, if you would still like to listen. Billy says why shouldn't I? Semiaza says then listen now very carefully, even if these things aren't very pleasant for you. As I have found out, all of the original film material, which you have regarded as original up to now, has gone missing from you. It. Billy says that's not possible, because just yesterday, I performed an inspection and found everything still in its place. Semiaza says you see, you were mistaken. The film that you still have in your possession, it concerns a copy. The original film, which you had coupled together from different trolls into a single film, this was stolen from you already in Hinwil and was replaced with a copy, which was also only made, however, after very evil changes had already been made to the original. Billy says that isn't possible, because I always had the film with me in safekeeping. 
and what should have been falsified therein. Falsifications are, in fact, tremendously costly, and on the other hand, why should falsifications have been made to my film? Samyaza says that is quite simple through these evil manipulations, it's supposed to be made impossible for you and us with the human kind of earth. It is, however, as I told you, that you were robbed of your original film already in him will. Then, in various parts of the film, falsifications were added, namely in the form that in meticulous handwork, every single negative image was provided with a hair-thin line from my ship to the top of the image. At the same time, this work was carried out so very well that it can hardly be found out that it concerns a falsification. The same also happened with various of your slides. Billy says but, why has this been done? It makes no sense to me. Samyaza says you are truly clueless even as a toddler. Billy says I really cannot piece it together, what are such hair thin lines on the images of the film and the slides supposed to accomplish? Samyaza says that is really very simple. Once you think about what has already been alleged in stupid explanations about the origin of the individual films and slides. Billy says I'm sorry, but I cannot figure it out. Samyaza says it has been claimed that the pictures of my ship were made with a model that had been hanging on a string or something similar to a fishing device. Billy says I know these stupid allegations, of course. But nevertheless, I still don't understand the whole thing. Samyaza says it is so simple, however, and for my part, I don't understand that you cannot piece the things together just now. So listen then the hair thin lines have been placed on the individual pictures so exactly and precisely that they fit on one another extremely precisely from picture to picture, giving the impression that the allegation corresponds to the correctness that you have captured just a model on a string, etc. on the film. Billy says that is not possible, that would cost a fortune if one would do such a thing. Samyaza says nevertheless, it has happened, and then one foisted on you are very good but false original without you noticing it. Billy says this is really too much. But who has done this, then? Samyaza says I don't want to give information about that officially, but I will tell you afterwards. Billy says this is really serious, and over all these years, I've probably also let copies of this film be made and sold these. Samyaza says that's right, because there likely hasn't been a single copy given out by you that does not come from your falsified original or precisely that falsification that you regarded as the original. Billy says then the film is no longer of use to me at all. But I just don't understand why this huge effort was made and why so much money was spent to make these falsifications. Samyaza says nevertheless, I explained to you why. It is the only way to render you and all your work as well as our entire work impossible. Since it can be found out on the films that these hair thin lines are marked, you yourself can imagine what will happen. Billy says yes, now I understand. This may actually mean that everything could collapse. Samyaza says sure, and we must now prevent that very quickly. This can only happen by my giving you opportunity to obtain such clear film and photo material that any doubt will be removed even for the terrestrial scientists. We have to hurry very much with all these things. However, because in America, the first steps have already been taken to analyze these falsified old films more closely, and the possibility exists that the artificial lines manipulated into them will be found, at least in those slides and parts of the film that exhibit these lines more distinctly. For this reason, you will have to take new pictures as soon as possible, which leave nothing more to be desired in clarity of reality. So you will already have to be ready in a few days to carry out this renewed hard work. Billy says that won't be easy, because we do always have the big problem on account of the appropriate places. Samyaza says calmly let me worry about that. Although, you will often have to travel very far. Billy says I am completely counting on you for that. 
Semyaza says sure, but what has been mentioned isn't the only evil, unfortunately, because more evil things have likewise arisen through the S brothers. Billy says I already know that, and I'm litigating with them. Semyaza says you are mistaken, because that isn't everything from them. Through their initiative, they have also created a stir in America, which will still bring about its consequences. Billy says that certainly cannot be so bad, however. But we'll see. Semyaza says just don't take all of this lightly. Everything looks rather bad. And if the spirit and whole mentality in your group itself doesn't change very quickly, then everything will collapse. Between 6 and 12 months would then likely be the end and complete destruction. As never before, it is now urgent necessity that each individual group member finally creates order in him or herself and allows the community to be a community. But only a short period of time remains for this, otherwise everything will be destroyed. You should make this clear to everyone definitively. Everything now stands, and in particular the continued existence of the group and the fulfillment of the mission, on the knife's edge. Billy says I've spoken enough. I just don't care anymore. If it gets that far, then I'll simply give up and leave for good. I won't be able to do it anymore. Until then, I'll still wait, and if it then just comes in such a way, then. Semiaza says I understand you, and I also don't want to rebuke you for it. It is your right and your will to be free. Billy says I think so, too, and it would be totally out of place if you wouldn't see this. Semiaza says I don't want to influence you otherwise. Billy says good, then many thanks for your understanding. Semiaza says let's talk no more of it now, because it is more important that we are united in terms of what is to come regarding the creation of new proof. In this regard, I can tell you that I can bring down to earth at least one large telemeter disc, about 125 to 200 centimeters in diameter, for the film and photo work, which you can then film in such a way that you'll stand with this and touch it. Billy says and you think that this will be enough proof for all the fact twisters and skeptics? Semiaza says certainly not for everybody, but surely for a large and important part of these human beings. Billy says I let myself be gladly surprised. Surely there will again be those who will claim that I would have hung a model on a fishing rod. Semiaza says we will keep the distance from the recording camera to the object and to you so far that such a claim will be impossible. Billy says at least one ray of hope. Semiaza says you shouldn't worry about that, just let it be in my hands. This time, I myself will think up how the evidence will be best suited in this respect. Billy says that relieves me of many thoughts. Semiaza says sure. Billy says do you have any other special things? Semiaza says no, not at the moment. Billy says you realize, however, that I don't make headway with my tractor as fast as you do with your ship. I can only get 13 and a half kilometers per hour with my little tank. Semiaza says that isn't so important. You should take your time, also because of your health. Billy says of course, but how long should everything really last? Semiaza says I told you that two to three months. A long time, certainly, but you also need this, in order to bring your health back on a better way. With everything, I only wish that you shall be very careful. Billy says I'll be careful, you know that. Semiaza says good, then you should go now and still sleep a little before the new day has completely dawned. Billy says I'm not tired yet, and if you don't mind, I'd still like to write down the report, if you still have time to transmit it to me. Semiaza says as you wish. If you are really not too tired. Billy says certainly not, moreover, after such a long time, all eyes will be looking for the report anyway. After all, they are all wondering what you had to say. It has, indeed, been about three months since we last saw each other. Semiaza says sure. Then I will comply with your wish. 
How long do you need to go home with your vehicle? Billy says, oh, you know, this little armored carrier only moves 13.6 kilometers per hour, and therefore, I need about 10 minutes. Samyaza says then be ready at 4.45 am. Billy says okay, then till we meet again, and give everyone a rather dear greeting from me. Also, I want to convey to you and all the others dear greetings from all the group members, even though no one has actually told me to do this. Practically all of them are sleeping and except for Engelbert and Maria, no one knows that I have come to you. I tore Engelbert from his sleep at 2 midnight, so that he could take over my night watch, which would have lasted until 3 midnight. Unfortunately, without this watch, it just won't work. Quetzal was quite right with this. Samyaza says you are all doing the right thing. Billy says how is it, then, when I'm on the move, is the watch still necessary then? Samyaza says in my opinion, it should be continued. Billy says I thought that, too. There is just too much all around. Samyaza says with that, you speak a true word. But now you should go, and please, greet everyone rather dearly for me. And I want to thank everyone for their dear greetings. Billy says I will. Bye. Samyaza says till we meet again. Billy says and come back quite soon. Samyaza says that will be so. The End